So now it's time to make the signal wires. So rip off a section of two off of your 50 conductor cable. So now take around a foot of your wire here and cut it. Uh, it's a little less than a foot, but whatever. Okay, so we have one foot section, one one foot section. Now what we need to do is make a foot and one inch long section. So now we have a section that's one foot, and we have a section that's 13 inches. So now we make one that's 14 inches in length. Alright, now I'll make one that's 15. And then 16. And then 17. So, right now we have a foot a foot and one inch, a foot and two inches, a foot and three inches, a foot of four inch, inches, and a foot and five inches. So now we need to make a section that's a foot and six inches in length. And then we need to make one that's a foot and seven inches in length. So now we have eight individual two section pieces. So you should have a 12 foot, you should have a 12, or sorry, you should have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 inches in length. What you need to do is split the the end, uh, split both ends of these wires. So split them only slightly. So go about an inch. Strip quarter inch off of each wire. So now that both ends of each wire are stripped, Take one end and twist it together. So, and take a crimp pin and crimp together the wires that you just twisted together. So now we have a sort of Y shape. And then take another two crimp pins and crimp the ends of the stripped cable. So you crimp, crimp these two separately. Okay, so we have two wires that are joined together, forming a Y here, and they are crimped together on this end. So do that for the rest of these wires.
once you've crimped the ends of all eight wires, take the ends that are single, as in both wires are crimped together, and insert them into the single crimp connectors. Okay. Once you have all these housing ends, housings in place, take the shortest wire, which will be the, this one, take it and plug it in where the zero is. So right here. Okay, and take the second shortest wire and plug it in the one. It doesn't matter which way you plug it in, it could be this way, or this way, or this way, just as long as it's plugged in. Alright, and then the third shortest wire into the two, and so on until all of these are plugged in. Alright, and everything's plugged in with the zero being the shortest wire and seven being the longest wire. Now take take one of these segments and grab hold of the single crimped wires. So whatever wire is plugged into the very right one, which is this one. That one goes to the plus over here. And then the other wire, which is plugged into the center, goes into the minus over here. Like so. Alright, so that's one section plugged in. Now, the next section we will have to plug in the back here. So, again, grab your section, whatever section is on the right, which is this one and this wire here, that goes on the plus side. So, plus is here, since it's on the other side, the plus is the top, and then the minus is the bottom here. Okay. And the other wire, which is plugged into the middle, the middle here, that goes right here, just like so. All right, so the main wiring harness is about 80% done. So now take the shortest wire, mark number one, and splay the wires apart. And then take the wires that come off of here and plug it in to the very first connector. Here's the power cables, this is the signal cables, this is the shortest one, this is the closest one to the main control board. So plug it in on the left. Plug one of these two on the left. And then that's one plugged in and take the other section the wire that's closest to the, the the connector that's closest to the board, plug in the shortest cable there. All right, so that's the shortest one, and take the second shortest wire, splay the leads apart, and plug it into the second closest connector, like so. And then that's on one side. And then also do that on the other segment. So this is the second shortest one. So there's that plugged in. Okay, and then the third shortest wire marked two on the board here. Let's play the leads apart. And plug it into the third closest connector.
on both sides. And continue that pattern until you've plugged in the very last wire here into the furthest connector. Okay, and we have the longest wire goes into the very furthest connector, which is the one that doesn't have any wires coming off of it. Okay, and then the main wiring harness is done. So now that's left, all that's left to do is get the connect the chin boards here, connect the battery packs, and then make a secondary wiring harness to connect these pins to these pins, which I'll cover in the next video. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll post a wiring diagram of this since that might have been pretty hard to follow. So. Hopefully you can assemble this using this video and the wiring diagram. Alright, cheers!